Phytech is proud to release a new version of handheld software. The new software incorporates a bunch of new features, starting with the LS EFI systems. Let's check it out. All right, so here we have the brand new handheld software. It comes out with the Ultimate LS systems, will be rolling itself into any of the newer 32-bit ECU setups. So that includes the brand new Nemesis and Toonport injection systems. When the unit first turns on, you're gonna get a gauge pack with a set parameters. In the top left corner, you'll see a little electric fan and not showing up right now is a check engine light. If you have any errors in the system, the check engine light will turn on. Uh, the same goes for the electric fan. Now, if we wanna jump over to the main menu, we have our house in the top right-hand corner. If we click it, it'll take us back to the traditional dashboard menu. I'd like to jump into our dashboard to show you some cool features. We have in every single menu, a help button. If we click that help button, it'll tell us whatever the highlighted parameter is. This one would be the RPM. So RPM equals the engine speed in revolutions per minute. That's awesome. So if we scroll down, we can go to anything we want, hit help, and it'll tell us different things for different menu options. Now, additionally, we now have a new feature for log record feedback. With that said, we can plug in a number and a readout that we want. So we can name our data log, log one, hit enter. Our data log is on and recording. The same button turns it off. And then if we wanna go and review our data log, we can scroll down to the bottom of the main menu to log file playback. We can select where we wanna see our data log and we can hit our play button. And over time, it'll play back your data log. So this one's just showing the engine cranking. And then we could stop, we could fast forward, we can do a lot of things to review our data logs. Another thing that we can do is if we go into our initial setup or our tuning section, we can go into any of these menus and we have our option to look at help on any of these as well. But also, if we wanna jump back to the dashboard, we have the dash button. We hit the dashboard and it'll take us directly back to the dashboard. That is really valuable if we're doing something like the IAC step setup. If we go into the IAC steps, we would be turning on our IAC step setup. We would then jump back over to our dash to get into our dashboard. And when we go to adjust the throttle, we can then look at our IAC steps and adjust accordingly. So that's a really cool thing that we can jump back and forth between. We got our help button and then we can do data log feedback. Now, the very front menu is part of the large gauges and these are the menu options that we can choose to put in that mid section. So we can turn these off and select completely different parameters if we want to. So we can do coolant, fan on, what gear and what speed. And then we also have the option to choose different colors. So I can make our dashboard green. So now if we hit enter, it'll load into the new dash. It gives us our new parameters in the center and the dashboard section is in a green design. So that's a quick rundown of the new handheld software. Again, I wanna emphasize that this product, the new updated handheld is only for the Nemesis, which is coming out currently. And the new LSECUs that are going out, that's right, we have new 32-bit software LSECUs. So if you have an earlier system, this software isn't there quite yet for that, but anything that's shipping now currently is gonna have this software. Be sure to check out any of our videos coming up and maybe even sign up to our newsletter. You will be the first to be announced when we start rolling the software out into all of our other products. It is our goal to get this software to work for all of our original systems all the way back dating to the first system that came out. But at this point in time, it's not quite yet available. I hope you enjoyed this video and the overview of the handheld. Please check out more videos in the tech videos down below and please leave comments for any kind of questions that you have regarding today's video. Thank you.